To understand the basic needs of your citizens, you need only look in the mirror. Like you and me, there are a few important things they need to live healthy, happy lives. That includes electricity, water, and sanitation. With these systems in place, everyone in your city has a shot at living their best life. Let's take a look at electricity. When laying roads, you also install low-voltage underground cables that supply electricity to homes, offices, and shops. These cables plug into transformer stations. Transformer stations are also connected to the high-voltage power lines streaming from your city's power plants. They act as a junction where low-voltage cables and high-voltage lines link up. Together, they form the grid that pumps electricity right across your city. There's one drawback. Power lines and electric cables can only carry so much electricity. When demand increases, they can max out, creating a bottleneck. Keep the grid humming by evenly spreading electricity connections around your city. You can also build power lines to import electricity from neighboring cities. Imported energy will save your bacon if local power plants fail to produce enough electricity when demand increases. It will, too. Expect spikes when the thermostat drops and everyone dials up their heaters. Hot weather will cause spikes, too, as people flick on air conditioners, fans, and ice machines at the same time. Your power plants might produce more electricity than your city needs. When that happens, you can export it to your neighbors. While this can offset production costs, think it through. By storing excess electricity in emergency battery stations, you have nothing to worry about when demand rises. Emergency battery stations help your city get the most out of solar power plants. Battery stations power the city at night when the plant isn't producing electricity and recharge when they operate during the day. Of course, solar is just one renewable energy source. You can build wind, water, and geothermal power plants too. Fossil fuels are another way to power your city. Or you can go nuclear. Let's talk water and sanitation. Surface water sources are the same as in city skylines. Expect flowing rivers, glittering lakes, and vast, swirling oceans. Groundwater is different. These underground reservoirs replenish over time, so they can run dry if they're drained at a faster rate than they're refilled. They're also susceptible to ground pollution. When they're contaminated, dirty water is pumped into your city's freshwater system. That's bad on every level, mainly because decontamination takes a long time. Build a groundwater pumping station to tap this resource and a water pumping station to bring surface water into your city's water system. You can also add water to the system with wastewater treatment plants. These plants can process sewage to produce clean water for homes and businesses. There's another way to manage sewage, sewage outlets. They release waste into open water, which can help prevent sewage from backing up. And that's a must when it comes to public health. Bungling waste management can make people seriously ill. That's why you want to keep sewage outlets well away from pumping stations. How can you balance the very human needs of citizens with your ambition as a city builder? It's simple. Imagine living your life down there, day in and day out.